Hi, Luke here from Weaveworks. Uh, just going to do a very short demo of uh, the work that we've been doing in SIG Cluster Lifecycle in the Kubernetes community. Um, and I'm going to show you how easy it's becoming to install Kubernetes. So uh, I'm just going to use DigitalOcean as a demo, as a way of getting some computers running Linux. Um, I'm going to set up uh, three droplets called Kubernetes 1, 2, and 3. Create those. And while I'm waiting for those to run, I'm going to prepare my environment. I'm just going to export some environment variables uh, with each of the IP addresses in. I've got my first one, there we go. Got my second one. Love it when a cloud provider tells me I'm awesome. Okay. Now I'm going to log into the first node. And then I'm going to install the kubelet from the new Debian packages. Then I'm going to do some things which I won't need to do once uh, we've made some changes to the packages. So this is all just temporary and you can ignore it. Apart from the one thing that will still be necessary is installing this uh, alpha version of the kube adam command. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. I'm going to enable the kubelet. And kubelet is now going to be waiting in a crash loop until it re receives some instructions from the new command kube adam. And uh, that's pretty easy to use. kubeadam manual bootstrap init master. The version I'm showing you today uh, doesn't automatically distribute the CA certificate, so that's why it's the manual bootstrap version. Okay, so it's told me the master initialization is complete. Static pods have been written, and the kubelet's kube config has been written. The kubelet should start soon. Uh, I can check that it has. Um, the CA cert is written here, and I now need to rsync that or SCP this file uh, onto my other computers. And then I need to run this command on them. So I'm just going to make a record of that command, because I'll use that later. So, uh, I can now check whether the master came up. Uh, it takes a while sometimes. While I'm waiting for the master to come up, I'm going to go and log into the other nodes, run through the install process on them. Okay, so all my nodes are now uh, set up with the kubelet. I log back into the master and do kubectl get nodes. Yes, my node, my master is up. Okay, awesome. Uh, just as a little bonus here, uh, we're going to use we're going to install um, the WeaveNet as an example of a pod network that can be installed with kubectl apply. <clears throat> this is using the Weave Cube project which uh, provides a daemon set, which automatically creates and manages a weave network uh, that can act as a pod network. So that's automatically going to get deployed to new nodes as daemon sets, even though we've only installed it on the master. Then we're going to copy uh, the pem file from earlier onto my laptop, and then off my laptop onto nodes 2 and 3. And then I'm going to go and look in here. I need to replace the path to the CA cert. This is the part that's going to get automated away when we finish the work. So this is really just a snapshot of the work in progress, but I hope you'll agree that you can already see how far we've come. Um, and then I'm going to run ssh root at Kubernetes 2. 
copy and paste this command. And if I could spell, then it might work. Okay. I'll change that here. Now I just need to do the same on node 3. Then I'm going to log. So what's what's that what's that saying? It's saying that the node has completed joining, certificate signing request has been sent to the master and the response has been received. Uh, so that means that there was a secure transaction that happened uh, between the node and the master to uh, ensure a secure connection between them. Uh, the kubelet was informed of those new secure connection details and we can now log into uh, the master to uh, run kubectl get nodes again and hey presto we've got a cluster there we go that's all for now